up for last night. So, but you can come a bit closer if you like, because then I don't need to shout quite as loud. Um, so, it's quite frightening actually. <laughs> Indeed, don't, don't excite me. Um, so, morning campers, uh, well done to everybody for, uh, for, for coming down. Um, we've got some people come from a remarkable distance. We've got people, uh, Trink, they've all the way down from Scotland, I think, to be here today. And we've got a representative from the Netherlands as well, which is remarkable. So, uh, and I think quite a few people travel quite a distance. So it's great to see um, everybody here. Uh, my name's Dave Briggs. I've not really done a great deal to organise any of this, but um, I'm nominally sort of in charge. Those who don't know who I am, I'm basically like a less principled Nick Booth, really. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so anyway, so normally I kick these events off by um, effectively slagging everybody off and telling you all what utterly sad bastards you are for giving up your Saturday to come to Birmingham to talk about the government and websites. But actually, you know, I don't think that's particularly appropriate to, uh, today, certainly in the current sort of age in which you know, the people working in public services and that kind of thing are getting such a hammering all the time. And the fact that all of you guys are happy to and willing to give up your time to come along to talk about making things better, share good practice and stories, I think, is a really, really good story to tell. So, so thank you to everybody for, uh, for coming along. And uh, it's great to be back here in Brum. We did the very first of these local gov camps happened in Birmingham about two years ago, so it seemed a natural place to come back and do this. Another part of my thinking, of course, was that you know any city that can spend three million quid on a website really ought to be able to carry <laughs> 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 so, so, so we're happy to be. Is it too early? No. <laughs> so, uh, so I'm glad you had me associated with that in shop as well. No problem. That's not, it's all his fault. So um, uh, yes, yeah, so yes, yeah, so we've had a few of these local governments. We started off in Birmingham. They've since been to York and uh, and Cheltenham. We had one in Lincoln and, all, and London and all over the place. So it's a great sort of network of people getting together to talk about stuff. But we're back here in Birmingham, and I think the first thing I really have to say is to just give a massive thanks to Simon from Digital Birmingham and Sammy as well, but I think he's outside at the moment, who've done an absolute sterling job in organising all of this stuff. I, you know, I literally have done nothing. So, um, so I think first of all we do anything, big round of applause for those guys. <laughs> So this is an unconference, um, which basically means those that haven't attended one before that this basically is the agenda, that there isn't one um, at the moment, and we're going to start putting that together ourselves in a bit. So the idea being, everybody gets a chance to contribute, everybody gets to hear about what they want to hear about, everyone gets to talk about what they want to talk about. But of course, none of this uh, would have been possible as well without the, sort of the kind support of the sponsors who've, uh, who've all sort of put their hands in their pockets. Uh, to help us out. So, in no particular order, uh, the sp sponsors that have made this event possible are Podnosh, uh, Public Eye, National Association of Local Councils, LGIU, Firmstep, Talk About Local, Arcus Global, and, uh, and Global Crossing as well. So, massive thanks to those guys as well, because obviously without their support, this just wouldn't be happening at all. So, a big round of applause for those guys. <laughs> by Donald Cash from the More Open Fund, which basically ran another one of these events in January in London, it's quite a big one, and some of the uh, various sponsors contributed to that as well, and some of those guys are here today, like Huddle and Neon Tribe as well, so thanks to those guys. I'm, that's, I'm going to hand over now to Simon, he's just going to go through some of the more boring logistical bits, um, and then we'll, we'll move on after that, so over to Simon. Okay, um, morning everyone, welcome to Birmingham, from Digital Birmingham. Mundane bit, um, we're not expecting a fire alarm today, so treat it as real if you hear one. Um, go down, out the way you came, and the muster point is in front of the Tony Hancock statue in Old Square, just over there. If you're not close to the front, then follow the green signs and you go out of the alternative exit. Um, slightly less mundane stuff, there's three additional things on top of sessions that I just wanted to bring your attention to. Sammy's put up a talking wall up in the bar cafe area and there's just two questions that we'd like people to go along and fill in answers to on post-it notes during the day. The one is how, how local GovCamp or GovCamps helped you previously. If this is your first one, feel free to make stuff up or <laughs> <laughs> be inventive. Um, or say what you're hoping to get out of it. Um, and the other question is, what will you do next week inspired by what you do today? Or what you're here today? So probably leave that until later on in the afternoon. On top of that, Rob from LGIU. Rob, you're about? No? Oh, yeah. Rob from LGIU. 
has got a map of England and Wales. Sorry, Corinne and Maurice. Um, and <laughs> what, we, um, what we'd like you to do is put there um, things that you know that are going on. And as, uh, that's a very nice and broad definition, isn't it? Um, so it could be just a very small thing that an individual's doing as a result of using digital technology, hopefully in their community, or it could be a very large one. We're looking for um, stuff that we haven't come across before, that Rob hasn't heard of before, and what he's going to do is produce a series of case, of about 10 case studies, you say? Yeah, about that. Yeah, about 10 case studies that can be presented to leaders to show them what's going on. Um, and the final one, which I'm not going to say terribly much about because it just sounds too much fun, is talk about local social media safari. I think you need to look out for a stuffed tiger and Dicky Get Good. There's a stuffed tiger and a mask. Okay, and I'll just hand over to Andy Mabbott who's just going to have a couple of quick words. Yeah? If you want to say what you're going to do, oh, right. then you <laughs> Um, one person couldn't be with us today, sadly. Um, if you look at the website for this event, the banner image at the top, you'll see me with a markedly smaller beard, talking to a guy called Jack Picard. And Jack sadly died in January last year. He was a good friend to many of us, several of us worked with him, and very active in the web accessibility community. Uh, I was trying to think what we could do today to mark Jack's contribution to what we do and it occurred to me to look through his old blog posts and the first one I came across was a picture of him wearing a big red nose asking people to donate to Comic Relief. Mm -hmm. So at lunchtime we're going to pass a bucket round and I would like you all to imagine that you're with Jack buying him a pint and perhaps put the price of a pint in that bucket mm -hmm. and we'll send it off to Comic Relief. Uh, you haven't paid to come today, there's no ticket price for this, and I'm sure you'll think today is worth that amount, so please donate to Comet Relief in memory of Jack. Thank you very much. Sure. Okay, so let's get cracking with this. What we're going to do first of all is we're going to do a quick, I say quick, <laughs> we're going to do some intros, okay? And so what uh, we're going to do is we're going to have everybody in the room is going to have to shout, okay, out, <laughs> basically your name, uh, sort of which hat you're wearing today, because I know it can be complicated for folk, um, especially the weekend, and then just give us one word that kind of describes, you know, what you're here for, why you've come along, or what you're hoping to get out of it. So just one word that kind of sort of describes that. So I'm Dave Briggs, I'm from kind of digital and compulsion, really, I think is my word for being here. Hadley, shall we start with you? I'm Hadley Beeman, I'm from LinkGov, and my word is open data, sadly. <laughs> I'm Nick Booth from Podnosh, and my word just at the is drunken. <laughs> we know this. Uh, I'm Sarah Hartley, I'm here for The Guardian, um, covering it for the local government network, and my word for today is listening. I'm Simon from Digital Birmingham, and I'm here for some scheming. <laughs> I'm Kevin Campbellwright from West Yorkshire, and my word is discussion. John King, Shropshire Council, uh, Innovation and Digital Media, and The Guardian stole my word. Mark Brannan, Hampshire County Council, Business Development, Research Development, and my word is learning. Paul Lindman, Warwickshire County Council, and I guess I'm going with innovation as well. I like your imagination. I'm Vic Lancaster from Warwickshire County Council as well. I'm Ken Eastwood, Public Sector No Rights, and Barter Council, and I'm running out of ideas, so let's go with mobile. <laughs> and Clay from 21 Apps, uh, or Sub Saver on Twitter. Um, I'm here for facilitation. Uh, this is Scott Martin from Solid Health Council, so yeah, long way to go. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm here for uh, ideas. Uh, Mark Shepperton from Office Global, and I have to go with Clay, really. I'm Gail Knight from the Royal College of Arts, and I'm here for information. Um, I'm Matthew Green, uh, I'm from a company in Birmingham called PolicyWorks, and um, uh, I'm here for coffee at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Michael Cohen from Cider Studio Sticky World, and I'm here for Neighbourhood Planning. I'm, okay. <laughs> I'm um, Ed Hammond from a small charity called Centre of Public Scrutiny, and my words will be accountability. 
I'm Tom Phillips from the People's Republic of Kent. Um, uh, my, my word is, oh, I have to do it hashtag, join up the dots. <laughs> Uh, Catherine Howe from Public Eye and the Democratic Society, and my word is always curiosity. Saul Cousins from Technophobia um, in Sheffield, my word is engagement. Oh. <laughs> 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 I'm Claudine <laughs> Douglas, I'm from Stirling Council, and my word is innovation. I'm uh, Michael Coley, I'm from the LGBT group. Known as LTA, and my word is solutions. I'm Nick Keane, I work with the police, my word is brummy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Inger Kohler, it's my last day at um, Love Government Group, and uh, about to go with the and my word is location. Hi, my name's Liz Azian, I'm from Camden and local direct Gov. Um, I'm <coughs> going to use a hashtag which is really useful ideas. <laughs> My name's uh, Nikki Getgood, I'm from Talk About Local, and I do learning local deeper piece good. And my word today is hunt, because that's what I want to help people to do. Hi, my name's Justin Shepherd, I work for Huddle, and I'm here for Government Cloud uh, Collaboration. I'm Fran Bury from Hackney Council, Environmental Sustainability Manager, and I'm here at the Council. Michelle Johnson, Rugby Borough Council, I'm here for ideas. Ben Wood, Wolverhampton City Council, Corporate IT Strategist, and World Wide Design. I'm Mike Patel, I'm uh, Corporate ICT at Wolverhampton Council, and my word is spy. I'm Gary Hayward, I'm a freelance from Liverpool, my word is impact. My name's Nicola Watts, I'm from um, a charity in Liverpool, LCBS, I'm also from SOMO, and my word is um, my name is Ben Proctor, I'm freelance, and my word is disaster. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, my name is uh, Sam Markey from London Borough Barnet, uh, where I work on excited improvements, and my word is better. Um, I'm Carol McBrain, I'm from Sandwell Libraries, and my word is Sandwell to not even know <laughs> <laughs> Participation. I'm 
Everybody had their chance. Oh, oh, okay. I, uh, I'm Nigel Bishop from Shropshire Council. If you follow me on Twitter, my word is, is probably Shropshire, but maybe that's rural, rustic, agricultural, something like that. But... Fantastic. So thanks, everybody. So now we know basically no more than we did earlier. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but at least, you know, we've had a go at it. So, right, what we're going to do now is the tricky bit, which we're going to start filling in this grid. Okay, so we've basically got seven different rooms that are available to us. They are of different sizes, so some of them obviously will fit more people in them uh, than others. Um, and we've got about five different time slots. So we've got 35 sessions we could potentially run, okay? Now, so what we need people to do is to start coming forward and sort of telling everybody what they'd like to do a session about. Now, the thing to sort of bear in mind here is that actually the way that session works, the way that it runs, is entirely down to you, really. So you don't necessarily have to have all the answers about the some, something you want to talk about. It could just be you just want to find out what people think about stuff. You could just have a discussion. Or maybe you've got a cool bit of technology, you've done a cool project, you want to be able to demonstrate it to people and show it to them. So you really can do anything you like with these. There's really no need to uh, sort of be shy about coming forward. So what will happen is, is that if you can start coming forward with your ideas, uh, my gorgeous pouting assistant, Nick Booth, uh, has uh, some post-it notes and some nice big markers where you can write down what your session is and then whack it into one of these grids. Okay? Now, bearing in mind uh, the sort of reception you get when you pitch your session will determine where it kind of ends up. So in other words, if there's a tumbleweed sort of going on, you're probably going to be in this room here, I'm afraid. Uh, but there we go. So we'll try and get that to work so that we can, we can do all of uh, that stuff. So. Who's uh, first? Let me start, sorry. Right, I'd like to uh, talk to people about social media surgeries, how you run them, what you're making of them, and the other thing I'd like to do is to have a nap. Can <laughs> 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 we repeat that one? <laughs> it can be repeated throughout. So, somewhere in the middle of Nick having a nap, the two of us are going to do a session on open data called the argument against open data, stop it now. Just to keep something out of the face, mate. Revolution will not be common separation. I'm not sure I agree. Can we start queuing around the area if you want to talk about something? Haddy's next. What do you want to do, Haddy? Everyone, can we just quiet down a bit? Thank you, Harry. That's not for just all Harry. I'd like to do a session on open data, how we convince our colleagues it's actually worthwhile. What do we do with all this fear and skepticism and confusion? Yeah. Yeah. Also, is Sam Smith here? Okay, my society want to run a session asking what local authorities want from my society. Right, John. Hello, I'm John Popham. I want to do a session on online video, the gateway to social media, based on my experience of that being the thing that engages people who would think they're not into social media and then leads them on to other things. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fantastic. Who's next? Okay. An hour ago, I wasn't going to do anything, but I'm now I am. I'm going to do two, one with me and one with Ben in a second. But my one is going to be the shop camp one that never was. How do we actually get senior management and frontline staff and all the people who don't come to these events here. Yay! <laughs> 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 right, Carrie. Hello everyone, I'm Carrie from 
future gov. Um, I want to do a session that moves beyond the comms and engagement, which we talk about a lot and is, of course, important, but I want to start to think about how do we use the web and web technology to transform and properly change how we deliver services, so a bit more sort of crunchy edge stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 right, who's up next? Ben? Uh, can I pitch two? Yep, right, time's quick. Okay, uh, first one, uh, I want to do something about social media and emergencies. I'm assuming everybody here thinks that social media has a role in civil emergencies, so I want to look at how we deal with scale and speed in major emergencies, malicious uses, that sort of thing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, and the other one uh, is very unfocused, but there's a load of people here who organise kind of real get-togethers. I organise a jelly, people organise tea camp, brew camp, that sort of thing. Um, and I think um, uh, it would be great to do a workshop just sort of sharing ideas, looking at new ways of working in the sector and also with communities. Stick up. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, I'm Dan from Walsall Council. Uh, we we ripped up, ripped, shamelessly ripped off our... Uh, GMP 24 and did Warsaw 24. And uh, Shropshire shamelessly ripped, ripped off you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Guilty. So it's something about that, but also something about how, how that sort of model can work and how we can make it even better and do other. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Yeah. Good stuff. Who's next? Um, uh, uh, I've got two. Um, I'm curious to see on Twitter, and you might seem talking about identity. So I want to do a session about digital identity. Um, how do you reconcile civic identity? How do you manage the fact that you've got different digital identities and they need to do different things? Yay. 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 Um, and then I also want to pick up the agile conversation. Not so much agile programming, but how do you get organisations ready to use agile methods? Yes. yes. <laughs> nice one. Who's next? Ingrid. Um, kind of uh, performance management of this stuff. How do we set objectives? How do we measure? What are we doing? A bit of uh, numbery stuff. Yeah. 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 Who's next? Right, I've got three, depending on how many you want to do. Uh, SharePoint, a SharePoint drop in clinic. Business models for public sector. Business model and innovating business models. And the last one, innovation games. So playing games in order to facilitate what you're trying to do as a technology team. Yeah. 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 All up to yeah. 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 Let's go in. Hello, let's go there. Who's next? Yeah. Tom from Kent, a little bit different to the other stuff. Uh, you've beaten up your IT people and your HR people and you've got Yammer. What happens next? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it costs you a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, uh, Kate, so host of Watch County Council. I want to run a transport hack event for the West Midlands, and I'd like teams to come along and tell me uh, their ideas and help me do it. Oh, it up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> group, uh, we're transitioning with K Hub from a, uh, a community based model to a uh, social network based model, and we're looking at ideas about how to do that. Uh, it's okay, knowledge hub stuff. Do you want to hear about that? Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm Pete Lancaster from Warwickshire County Council. I'd like to talk to you about how you can redesign your site for a mobile device with tablet for nothing. Mobile, mobile council websites for nothing. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Not at the same time as Walsall 24. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is my personal agenda. Just bring it up, Liz. Okay, right. hi, I'm Liz Azian, I'm uh, me so and Ingrid is, are going to facilitate a session called the Really Useful Event. Um, it's basically an event that's going to run over six months about open data and how local government can use open data and develop apps or sites or whatever stuff with open data and make it really useful for citizens as well as employers of local government. So what we would want is hopefully discuss how we can make the first event, which is on the 1st of July, really useful. We've already sent out invites to some people in this room, but we would really want is your kind of feedback on how we should structure the date and the next six months to come. Fabulous, thank you, Liz. Right, I'm, I'm actually putting my foot down now. We will have no more sessions at this event about events, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so we may well disappear at the moment. Awesome. So, uh, who's more, next? More sessions about that. I'm Simon from Birmingham. I've got two potential topics to talk about. One is WordPress for council websites. How far can and should we push it? Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and the other one. And the other one is the Amazon Kindle as a platform for Ooh. service oh. delivery. Oh. Is there anything we can do with it that's interesting? Yeah, yeah. yeah. put that with that. Yeah. 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 Oh. Um, <laughs> Local authorities are releasing lots of data, but they find it quite hard to get people to do something with it. So how about the idea of a local authority involving every school, particularly the six formers and the, um, the uh, design and technology things, doing a local authority-wide prize for the school that, does the that takes a page from the council website and makes a much better version of their own using either uh, you know, clever data stuff or just good presentations. Yeah. Yeah. My name is Martin, I work at Trotter Council, I run a small website called Project Width. Um, I just wanted to do a session about blogging, it's fallen a little bit out of favour recently, but how it can lead to a more transparent and open uh, website design uh, procedure, if you like. Well, so, uh, yeah, for website, local government websites. Okay, blogging in local government websites. Who's up for a chat about blogging? Yeah, there's a few blogs. Yeah. Stick a dozen in one of those. No. Wherever you like. Right, who's next? Nikki. Um, hello, I'm Nikki from Talk About Local. Um, we're doing a social media safari today, um, all the, uh, over lunchtime and just during the day in the main hall. And it's basically about local gov hunting down and taking part in, in local conversations outside of their own spaces online and the importance of that. And as that, I've got a bit of a, bit of an Aesop's fable I'd like to discuss um, that I heard, it's a tale I heard at the first local gov camp I went to in 2009. And it's a story of the wizard with a cat, his fans and their council in Sutton in London. Sharon O'Day told me all about this. I've looked into the story and it's kind of the perils of ignoring those online conversations. Hello again. Um, I'm working with Wikipedia on a project called Glam. It's got nothing to do with high heels and flares. Galleries, sorry, galleries, libraries, archives and museums. So I'd like to talk to anybody from those organisations about that project and anybody who's looking to move content from a council or other website onto Wikipedia or content into Wikimedia Commons, which is a media repository for open source media. So anybody who's interested in that? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Yes. Oh, I think I'm sorry, Nick. I think I'm going to have to. We're running out of space. So what? Nap, no, no, you can't put that. Until... Nap, Nap's going up here. <laughs> 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 it's all encompassing thing. I'll just go to the least interesting that session. That means the Nap. <laughs> <laughs> the Nap, the nap stops <laughs> now. <laughs> so anyone who sees oh, Nick oh. entering the room, I'd <laughs> <laughs> be very afraid. Well. Uh, William Perry from Talk About Local, all over the country there are hundreds of very, very good hyper-local websites, people are having conversations about what's going on in your borough, they're talking about you, the council, um, so we want to have a little session about how councils can actually work with those websites without killing them. Uh, I often yeah. use the metaphor of a sow rolling over and crushing the piglets. So, you know, so that, that kind of thing. We often see very clumsy, clunky engagement by councils local websites. How can you do it smartly? How can you do it well? How can you help people create sites to find a voice online? Yeah. So, Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two o'clock. I now like Simon because I did want to talk about WordPress um, and you stole it from me. But what I do want to talk about actually is, is see if we can get some really good examples of local government using WordPress and also actually take questions from people thinking about using WordPress or not sure whether WordPress can do stuff to see because a lot of people don't realise how much WordPress can do so I'd like to answer questions about people wanting to use WordPress as well. Um, so I'm going to join that. Um, the other one was um, filming council meetings. I'd like to have a session where yes, yes. we go through all the arguments for and against, whether we agree with those arguments or not. So actually we've got this really good uh, list of arguments for and against so that if we ever come across the situation where we're trying to fight for uh, filming council meetings, we've got all the arguments at our disposal to would, knock down the big cricket bat. Will that include what to do when you're arrested? Middle of the afternoon. Middle of the afternoon. No, no, yeah, no, 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 no,
Hi, um, Ed Hammond from Centre for Public Scrutiny. Um, I'd like to talk about councillors. Um, how councillors can more effectively use uh, local data, uh, either made available through some innovative technologies or other means, to make themselves more effective in both in terms of their ward work and the work that they might do through scrutiny. Yeah. Yes. 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 Uh, based on can we put that with the open data one? Yeah, do you want to put that with mine? Can, okay, we, can really? we join that with the open data because it's going to be the same conversation? It's the yellow one on the left. This one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I've got uh, Blended services, how do we get away from having the digital service and the offline service and recognise that services have to be digital, online, offline, blended together and particularly some of the frontline services, so probably following on from some of the beyond comms uh, and engagement side, how do we do frontline services <laughs> Digital, not by default, but digital as, as part of that. Yeah. Yes, I'm Michael Coachside in Stickwell. Um, I'd like to run a pre mortem on neighbourhood planning. If that's too specific, we can do pre mortem on the localism mill. That's where we're going to show why it's going to die, but then we're going to work on what are the web tools out there that can help fix it. I'm running events with planners in Birmingham the following week, and I'm hoping I can bring some of those grab camps ideas to that workshop. So if you can help me, that'd be great. Yep. Yep. Sarah. Hello, uh, I want to run something about how we measure and evaluate the channels that we're using, particularly around social media, sort of justifying the time and effort that we're putting into it. Great, so evaluation of social media activity by yeah. councils. Do you want to check that in the link? Yeah. Because she was talking about some other stuff, wherever Ingrid's went. Uh, who's next? Toby? Yeah, hi, Toby Blue. Um, if citizens are going to do half the stuff that the government will have us do, then we need to work out how we uh, make policy and decision making more accessible. So I'd like to discuss the visualisation of policy, which is an idea we've been developing as visual can. Right, who's next? So all cousins, I want to think about, uh, discuss how we can use the television as a device to uh, encourage digital inclusion. Yeah, I'm going to stick it. Who's next? Hello. I'm uh, Stuart from Litchfield. Um, I have, me, myself and Philip John from Litchfield Community Media, have got a bit of a plan around uh, making Litchfield the, the uh, world's first open data city, or well, the country's first open data city. I would like to discuss around some, um, some we'd like to get some, get some ideas around, uh, around funding and also get some ideas about what type of data sets that councils hold that beyond the obvious. So I'll probably stick that in with Hadley's session um, just after lunch. But I just thought I'd, uh, I'd flag it up to see if anyone is interested. Yeah. Yay! Yay. <coughs> um, I'm totally lost where I'm going to put it, but um, there's lots of great ideas about delivering change and so on. But one of the things that we're interested in is how do we prove that we're making an impact in communities that we're trying to change? And what's that? What do we measure more than measuring the actual social media metrics? Okay. So I'll put it in. Do you want to be with the around yeah, we're. Yeah. Who's next? Yeah. You're next. Hi, I'm Amanda. I'm Shy Girl. Um, we're from Police.UK and we want to hear about how we can improve the website, um, make it more transparent, what data we can put on there. If anybody's interested, I'd like so to touch up on that. Have a go at the police, I think. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we're 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 in. In. <laughs> so I'm going to put it in. Will we get <laughs> kettles in that one? <laughs> Um, uh, uh, I had a session idea called Working with Geeks Betterer, how to sort of work more productively with your geeks, how to cherish your geeks. Um, you're kidding me. Okay. Um, yeah, well, there. Nice. Eric Pickles is killing our cats newspapers. Most of us won't miss them, but what's going to fill the gap? Okay, what's going to fill the gap from council newspapers once they're all gone? No? 
Yeah. 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 <laughs> Looking for a Who's next? Uh, Nick Fell from Firmstep um, uh, offered to do a, a session on a case study, <coughs> which we um, project we've done with Culture the Council around citizen self service. <laughs> if you'd be interested. Oh, that's quite interesting. Do you want to chuck that? Who's next? That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Right, we've got it. Which means I think we might be able to put the nap back in. <laughs> Oi! The nap return. Yeah. The return of the nap. That brings really is too strong. <laughs> right, okay, come on. So all the sessions start at 11 o'clock. Uh, they last for 45 minutes, and then you've got 15 minutes to make your way to your next one. Dave? Yes? Mention the, mention the maybe session hashtag thing that might not work. Okay, so Harry had this brilliant idea, right? Whereby. There are lots of interesting sessions going on all the time, and obviously you can't be in all one place um, at once. So you might want to know what's happening in the other ones. And everybody, of course, is going to be tweeting away like mad about what people are going to be talking about. So, we have numbered all of the sessions, right? So the way this hopefully will work is this. The event hashtag is local gov camp. So if you're on Twitter, use local gov camp, And then stick a hash and the number of the session that you're in, okay? And then hopefully we will then be able to... Do something with it. Is that right, Harry? Hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. It might not work. Yeah, it might not work, but it's an experiment. Yes. Okay, hash over, hash over. That won't work. You need to do the second hashtag needs to be hash, say, LGC, then the number, not just the number. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah